Did you know that it's possible to create infinitely looping animations in Figma that then can be used in your Figma prototypes? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Figma's prototype panel to create an animation that keeps on playing in your Figma prototypes. So any, anytime you need to use anything that keeps on spinning, moving or moving back and forth, this is the way to do it. I'm going to start by selecting the ellipse tool and creating an ellipse that is about 250 pixels. Then I'm going to add a stroke, make sure it's placed at the center of the path, remove the fill and then select this little circle here and click and drag while holding shift to create a sweep. Then I'm going to go here and set this to 100%. Now we will change the stroke to be an angular gradient and we're going to position this so that black color is at the very top of the of the wheel we're going to have to probably switch these to achieve the result and then we want to move this transparent black so that it's here so this is going to be our loading wheel that's going to keep on spinning now i'm going to select it and go here to create a component. I'm going to name this component loading wheel. Next, I'm going to create a property and the property is going to be called spin. I'm going to select this and create a new variant. Place it here. Then you can see that we have the variants right here in our layers panel. We want to select not the variant, but the ellipse that ex that's actually inside the variant. So now that we have this selected, I'm going to go here and type in uh, minus 90. So it's it has been, you know, it has been rotated clockwise 90 degrees. Then I'm going to create another variant. Again, select the ellipse that's inside and change the minus 90 to be minus 180. And finally, I'm going to select it again and create a new variant again. Select this ellipse that's inside the newest variant and change this to be minus 270 degrees. Next, I'm gonna select the first one, go to prototype and select this little circle and click and drag to connect it to this uh, state. Then I'm gonna select after delay and the delay is going to be one millisecond long which is basically instant. It's going to change to spin 2. It's going to smart animate. The transition is going to be linear and it's going to take around, let's say, 400 milliseconds. And now we will go to this variant and do the same with the third one. So after delay, one millisecond, change to spin 3, smart animate, linear, 400 milliseconds. Again, after delay, one millisecond, change to spin four, mod animate, linear, 400 milliseconds. And finally, I'm going to take this one and connect it back to the first one. Now you might actually realize why this is a, you know, looping animation. It's going to be after delay, one millisecond, change to default, smart animate linear 400 milliseconds. You will create a new frame, 1000 by 600, we'll call it loading animation. We're going to go to assets drag and drop this component that we created select the k tool and make it a little bit smaller and we will also change the colors so i'm gonna go to fill select a dark gray and we are going to change the colors of this angular gradient to be white instead of black and also i'm going to use the text tool to type in loading i'm going to select this, these three dots and push the opacity down to 30, maybe increase the font size. So now what we did is we, we created an, a component that thanks to the prototyping workflow that we created, it should keep on spinning because instantly from this first state, it's gonna transition to this one and to this one and then to this one and then it's going to repeat. So it should keep on changing states for as, as long as the prototype will be running. Let's test this out and fix any, you know, any problems that we might have done. And it works. It's a infinitely spinning, looping animation 
of a loading wheel in Figma. So you can now share this prototype with your clients or with your stakeholders and uh, they will be able to see actually this wheel spinning. So I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I will see you in the next one.